Yo, 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 B Foster, and I'm about to um take some footage from 2K5 to like try to show off some of the running mechanisms and jukes and stuff like that in response to one of my guys' videos. Uh, just started a simple scrimmage between the Broncos and the Raiders, new rosters or whatnot. Uh, I'll just pick some of my favorite runs, I guess. And I'll let the computer decide what the defense runs. Uh, I wish, like in all of the Maddens, that it had the uh, choose all play feature or whatever so it could just keep giving me new plays, a new running play specifically, but 2K didn't have that feature, so I'm going to have to go back and start changing up my runs manually. So far, I got an iPhone. Uh, not trips. I got an iPhone uh, spread formation. Cooper and Crabtree all the way to the left, one tight end. And uh, honestly, if I was in the game, I would probably audible this. But I'm going to go ahead and run it and see what we could get. Nice hole. Charge. Marshawn Lynch with the momentum. Drags his defender. Let's check it out. A pull by 76. Or 66. With Johnson. But he definitely gets his job done and lays a hand. Marshawn directly through the whole 45 Reese, as I mentioned in uh, one of my comments on the video I was responding to where Madden uh, has a run. 45 is basically trying to fill in the hole where 66 just came from. You got to make sure nobody can get in those holes. And honestly, if it wasn't 45, 61's initial instinct was to go that way. Uh, on the play comparable on Madden, 61 shot pretty much straight this way and didn't really care if anything came this way so uh, that's cool that they always kind of take their first step as a true offensive lineman to where they need to be and in that case you want to make sure nobody gets through what 66 is just coming from um, Marshawn Lynch takes it and while I didn't really get free of this tackle you can see that his momentum definitely carried Ward forward Okay, uh, let's go back and get some, maybe five minutes, let's, let me audible this, let's see if I do better off uh, running a playmaker, so to speak, and switching where this goes without switching the information. Inside juke, flick of the stick, nice solid six yards, let's see. Alright, so definitely the first thing I notice is 70, it's pulling outside, but it seems like it'll, it'll be a stretch for me to make it out there versus just taking all of this daylight I have right here. My guy Hudson gets a hand on 97. Who let's face it in real life would have probably still got a hand on me. <laughs> but uh, Marshawn Lynch get through. Uh, at that point in time, I flicked the right analog stick. And what's so cool about 2K5 is that when you flick the right analog stick, it's really not a juke move. It's almost like what they did in 2K3 to where when you press uh, spin, it doesn't start a spin, but it starts off a hesitation, and then you spin. So if somebody would have taught me uh, at a decent time or at the right time when I'm starting off that uh, that little hesitation, I would have probably did something to get off them. You see uh, Shane Ray just goes right past me <laughs> with a with bad pursuit. Shane Ray is too dark, too, in my rosters. I got to go back and fix that. Shane Ray is definitely not that dark. But um, anyway, yeah. Um, I really can't see anything. I'll start over. I really can't see anything too, uh, you know, wrong with this play that just speaks out, you know, what's going on. Everybody's in pursuit for the most part. My guy 48 should have definitely uh, got a little more in the play. And he gets handled. He gets his. He get all the way handled. And also notice I was talking to a uh, cat called Agron. Uh, some of his Madden videos, a lot of backside blockers were still blocking people that really don't need to be touched. Uh, and notice how on 2K, when it's a power or a sweep or some kind of stretch to the outside, you're going to have cats that just get ignored for the simple fact that they're not going to make those plays. Let me switch it up now. Um, get into some uh, 
new school formations. And uh, these days in the NFL, a lot of runs are actually called out of, uh, you know, single back, um, the gun, the pistol even has made a return. So 2K5 does still have formations in the game that, I mean, nobody is running. You don't really see far near... Uh, you don't see far near split backs like that anymore. So uh, I guess for the purposes of, of more of my vids coming, I'm going to try to stay out of those formations. But what we have here, once again, this is perfect. Because I was just explaining, similar uh, to a play on Madden, that if the, if the defender is not directly over your helmet on a play that's going all the way to the opposite side, and this is the strong side, He's not going to bother someone in front of him. He's going to just go as far as possible to the side of the play. So somebody's going to be free. On Madden, what happened was this guy literally blocked this guy. This guy blocked that guy. This guy blocked that guy. And then the other three guys did a job of their individual assignments. But, I mean, realistically, as a lineman, you flood to the exact side of where the play is going. Now, 66 and 77 get a double team on uh, the defensive tackle. But honestly, 66 did a terrible job of actually coming off of the double team and taking care of 52. Uh, plays a, a, a big outside play, so I mean, 52 should have did a better job of, uh, you know, containing the outside the edge or reading this type of play versus shooting that gap. And you know what? Let me go and actually check uh, the options I have on here because to me, at this point, all pro is a little too easy. I mean, legend, as you can see, they kind of like screw you, honestly. Like, you just can't run as fast as them. So sometimes I like to tweak that setting just to not be so aggravated when, like, you know, linebackers catch me from so far back. But, I mean, legend is legend. So. I mean, I mean, that's really one of the big differences about 2K5 versus Madden. I feel that on Legend mode, it's almost like they let you know they're going to be bigger, stronger, and faster than you were. As on uh, Madden, it seems like they just know a lot of your plays and, and, and just kind of pick things inside out that, uh, you know, you can see what's going on. All right. Same play. Uh, switch the difficulty. And you can tell. <laughs> Definitely the pursuit on that play is way better. Like they <laughs> But this being like I said one of the most realistic uh and responsive running games, I was still able to at least get back to the line of scrimmage. What I did here was flick the stick. Most would agree, even I think I would agree ninety six in real life would probably clob a more scrimmage in that uh situation but I mean we've seen it we've seen running backs actually get their bodies off of bigger guys so another thing I'm pointing out because this is the whole point of this vid this is a contact spin-off and Madden when you press the spin button I'm not sure if they have these type of spins uh where you actually make contact and spin off of your defender and twist him around rather than you just make him miss with the spin I think um since Madden has been around, when you spin, somebody literally just goes right past you. And they never respected the spins that bigger guys like uh, uh, Marshawn Lynch or Jerome Bettis or, you know, somebody, uh, you know, a Ty Gurley or somebody. You know, nine times out of ten, they might just use you to spin off you versus just find open space to make a circle. So, I mean, like I said, play was unsuccessful technically, but... It's amazing that I was able to uh, uh, pull up, you know, a move that got me back to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to try this play one more time. In fact, let's try the playmaker to play and see what happens. Uh, sometimes when you play make a shotgun plays in 2K5, the result could be a little weird. Uh, as they didn't really perfect that, you know, like Madden did at that point, switching plays. But this looks pretty safe. This looks pretty safe. Let's see what I do. More like a counter. Perfect. Good block, 66. <laughs> I'm talking about. Good job. So, I was scared to run it at first, but actually, when I switched the play, instead of Derek Carr handing off the ball toss style or, you know, uh, him making a move to get over, 
Marshawn actually comes in for a counter move and then jets the exact opposite way. Yeah, that was kind of cool. And I mean, the way the play is set up, all of these guys, 48, 54, Brandon Marshall, I mean, everybody can get really shoot their gap. But if they don't contain the outside, it's like that's the brilliance of the play. A counter to the outside they wasn't expecting. And it's almost I'm off to the races. Now, notice on legend mode, I'm way slower than the computer. So that's one of the reasons I always turn the speed up on legend. It's because, I mean, you're not going to break a 100-yard touchdown on this mode. I don't care who you are. You can have uh, Barry Sanders versus the current Cleveland Browns for some reason. That's just not going to happen. You need uh, a decent catch with a wide receiver and then maybe some yards after the catch to have a big play. Uh, as far as running, a 15-yarder is a big play. Oh, man, I should have jipped to the outside. All right, let's, I'm tired of that. Let's find something else. Let's stay in the gun. Maybe switch up. Uh, there's a trap in it. There's another speed. Maybe got here. Toss to the outside. I have one of those. A more simple running play. And as you can tell, they came up to the line uh, poised to beat this. Once again, if I was playing in the game, this would almost make me call a timeout or audible to a pass play. But I'm going to still run it just to see what I can come up with. Oh, he's broken. Flick of the stick. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So what happens is I was about to, I, well, I actually flicked the stick, but as soon as Marshawn was actually going to respond, someone else came in. If you look closely, that initial move right there, only him and 48, is me about to spin off of him. And, you know, as soon as I'm spinning off of him, 26 does a good job of cleaning it up by his lonesome. That's what that, is. that looks like a pile of mess right there. I mean, that's actually one of the cool things, I guess, about this game. I mean, a lot of guys fall and slip and find themselves getting hit when you're not really trying to hit them. It's been plays where I'm actually trying to hit the person with the ball, and I'll dive into one of their blockers and they'll feel it just as worse as the person that had the ball. Oh, I, I never a dead play. Something I never noticed on Madden. It seems like when you dive to anyone that's not the ball carrier, you're either just going to slide off of them or you're just going to fall. Uh, I know there's ways you might can throw a block on Madden, you know, if you flick the right stick up. But as far as being on defense and actually just like, um, you know, clogging up a play, you can't really dive into the fullback to ensure that it gets clogged up, if I'm not mistaken. All right, that looked terrible. And this is what I was talking about in 2K. It's tricky to run playmate, uh, to, to playmaker plays out the gun formation. What's going on is I playmate what is supposed to be a strong toss to the outside. And the, the toss animation is still going directly that way. But Marshawn thinks that he's following that red line on the play. So even though he shouldn't, he's going directly back the other way. So, I mean, that's why I said you have to know what plays are actually safe to reverse uh, using the playmaker feature or the, the, you know, the switch direction in the same formation feature or whatever. Because... Instead of doing that, the safest thing it would be is to just actually reverse the entire plate, like switch the plate to the size, including the formation. That will work just fine, but I'm, I'm going to get that same animation over and over and over if I play make Marshawn going that way, even though the, the play is called the toss. Play. So, I mean, you understand exactly why it's happening. It just looks really retarded when it happens. Let me get to something else. Give me a single back. I never got that. I'm going to probably wrap this up uh, soon. Everything I'm saying, y'all probably won't hear because I probably edited it out. Probably put some dope music on top of it. Uh, and I know exactly who I want to see this video. Oh, man, I called the passing play. Let me go and get back to Once again, on Legend Mode, they have a good idea usually, which, you know, Look the line up in, look to the outside, 
got skinny. I think that's worth, even though it was only a three yard gain, I think that's worth taking a look at. All right, so first thing, that's my juke to the outside. If I'm not mistaken, that might actually just me slamming on right, whereas this game doesn't let you just blast through holes without digging your feet in the ground. So, uh, if I didn't juke, that would have happened anyway from pressing right too hard. But then, automatically, the game has a feature where, like Madden once had, I'm not sure if they still have it. You get skinny to avoid, you know, defenders overnight and fit through tight space. I don't see if it was actually necessary <laughs> in that run. But nevertheless, I guess me being close to a defender targeted that. And as you could also see, when the tackle starts off, now this is real cool. When the tackle starts off, you would think it's 26 more with the uh, with the tackle. But what happens is the force from 43 and Brandon Marshall, from Ward, Ward and Marshall, and the actual momentum of Marshawn Lynch as well, what happens is 26 just becomes a casualty of the play where he just kind of feels everybody's momentum. And the two guys behind them, which you can see Marshall starts off with a dive and then finishes off with a sweet, you know, gang wrap-up type of animation. Uh, that's just crazy. You know, I, I would really like to see more type of stuff like that in Madden. Well, when you stop and take into account of everybody, how fast they're moving or whatnot, you know, like, to me, that looks pretty realistic. A lot of times, a lot of defenders hurt themselves when they, you know, come in and uh, lay down the hit stick that Madden's have, you know. For the most part, Madden always injures you, but a lot of times, you know, what 26 did would have hurt him as shown in the play, way more than actually Marshall. So that, that, that was cool. 